for how close I am if you watched my last video my camera broke as in my vlogging camera it was a very windy day my camera was on a tripod filming me as I was talking to you about Darcy and Holly I was at my mum's yard it's a really good video if you haven't seen it actually um but whilst talking the wind blew down by the camera it's a very sad time and the next one doesn't arrive until tomorrow so this is the first video I filmed without my camera and I'm really sad so I've got a super zoomy lens on I'm miles away from you and we're still we're still this close however today is a super super exciting video and I'm hoping I can film as much as I can of this video so number one I am taking my GoPro and we are going to be GoPro riding with Ringo I will be including that and the main reason that we are GoPro riding is one because I haven't done it in actually a really really long time I don't think and two because obviously I don't have my camera <laughs> so that's just extra content for this video but at the very start of this video Darcy is moving to Blackwater now Blackwater is the yard where Ringo and Truly are at and I know if you watched last week's video I said that it probably wasn't going to be until the middle of December if it happened but hey I'm all about just going with the flow and <laughs> two days ago owners of the yard where Ringo and Truly are they phoned me and they said I know we said that there wasn't a stable until the middle of December but suddenly we have a free box from Sunday so the Sunday that's just gone and today is Wednesday so I've left it until the nicest day of the week which is today the weather has been horrendous this week however I do feel like today the winter has come like I'm freezing cold <laughs> and I've got my scarf on I've got a base layer you can't see that right now because you, all you can see is my face I'm assuming because it's so zoomed in <laughs> a big winter puffer jacket from Maximilian as well to put on today and I've got a scarf from Lemire oh god guys I am so cold yeah she's moving to Blackwater which is so exciting so rebacking is starting so soon so much sooner than I thought I'm provisionally putting her there for one to two months to see how she does because we don't know what the problem is we don't know if there is a problem we don't know how she's going to be she may be so for me personally I like a Ford going horse I like a horse that wants to do it Ringo's in the middle of the road and sometimes he and so I actually prefer him when he is more frisky because I'm I'm a I'm not a lazy rider but I don't want to kick you know I'm I want somebody that wants to do it with me so if she's like a, a backward going horse if that makes sense um we might not get on like we might not gel or she might have an actual issue you know is it not like an issue health wise but mental wise <laughs> we just don't know so we're going to test and see what she's like if she if if everything goes to plan if she is an amazing pony which I think she's going to be because she's such a good girl on the ground I'm going to keep her at Blackwater for the next year compete her all of next year um, and then put her into foal the year after however if she doesn't like being ridden if something you know is the matter there then I will keep her there for one to two months obviously to give it time I'm not just going to put her there for a week and see what how she how she does I'll give her like one to two months obviously just so we can get her into a routine and see how things go um but if if it doesn't work out which it sometimes things don't work out there's no problem there um then hopefully we'll put her into foal in the spring if everything is you know all goes to plan so that is the main Darcy update I'm moving her on my own today I know that's quite brave <laughs> but I'm hope but from what I know and what I've seen of her so far she's an absolute angel so I'm sure she'll be absolutely fine um I've heard that she's great loading as well so we'll soon find out anyway won't we um so I'm going to film as much of that as I can today as well I've obviously got my phone which films in 4k and I've got my pivo so that will be with me today so I've got phone footage gopro footage and pivo footage if anybody is looking for a pivo I've got a discount code and an affiliates link in the description box you can use a discount code without using the affiliates link so you don't have to help me out if you don't want to so just being transparent here but it would mean the world to me if you did want to use my link down below um I've actually got links as well all the time now for the naked horse within my discount code as well they are affiliate links and equidry too that which again is an affiliates link to the website but the discount code for on all three of them you don't have to use unless you on my affiliate link if that makes sense just use it for yourself to get monies off um but yeah they're products that I completely recommend the pivo obviously for training at home for filming yourself or if you're you know looking at filming if you're looking at getting into influencing and things like that you don't need help in filming 
when you have a pivo. Really, really great piece of kit. Aqua Dry, the Winter Equestrian Best Friend. It's waterproof, it's fluffy, it's just, oh my god. You do look like a bin bag, I'm not gonna lie. Who cares though? At the yard, all I want to be is rhyme warm. So my Equa Dry is my winter best friend, and the Naked Horse products, just chef's kiss, chef's kiss. <laughs> so on that note, guys, we're going to downstairs. I actually have a little password to undo with you before we go, um, and there'll be some more links in the description box for that as well. If anybody is looking to get the next thing and yeah then we're gonna head straight to my yard to get my lorry back to mum's yard to get Darcy and then back to Blackwater to deliver her <laughs> so seeming as I'm running late I'm gonna quick fire this but if you would like to shop anything from the Cherries app if you spend over 20 pounds you receive 25% off with my discount code scarletm25 I will leave all of the information in the description box but I have a huge box of goodies here from Cherries and the best way to describe Cherries I think would probably be to say it's an online version of Home Bargains and B&M. You get all of your home essentials, snacks, advent calendars, Christmas presents, you name it, they have it, including very boring things that I've ordered, such as bleach, <laughs> such as vinegar spray for my washing, <laughs> floor cleaner, I have a bucket full of goodies. <laughs> because I did order the bucket for myself as well, including some chocolates, I have a new scrub daddy, new minkies. I honestly have the biggest selection down below of amazing home products. Everything is in the link down below if you would like the whole Home Bargains and B&M shopping experience, but online instead at incredibly discounted prices. Next day delivery is available, and as I say, if you spend over £20 on the website, you get 25% off your entire order with my discount code SCARLETM25. And on that note, guys, let's head straight to the yard. I've honestly just turned this lorry around in the smallest space ever and I'm very proud of myself. I'm just about to undo the ramp and get all that sorted. But there's the beautiful Darcy. Hi, princess. And then Holly will be around somewhere, I'm sure. I've heard Holly, but I can't see Holly. I can see all the sheep. They've moved fields. Holly! And maybe Holly's in the stable. She might be actually so she doesn't get upset if Darcy leaves. Hi, baby. It's very muddy. Very muddy, Darcy girl. You're so beautiful. You're going to a new house. Yeah, baby, you're going to have hundreds of friends. Yeah, loads of friends incoming and brushes and no more things. She's like, what is the lorry doing? Am I going somewhere? You are, baby. You are. You're so cute. We're going to be... Oh, <laughs> smiling. <laughs> We're going to be best friends. Oh, okay, she says I, I go now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Where are you going? Oh, I forgot your carrots. I bought you loads of carrots and I forgot them. Oh. <laughs> that was the most useless buck I've ever seen. If that's all you've got, we're going to be absolutely fine. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? Oh. <laughs> oh, you're just like Ringo. There's not much there. You're tired now, right? I'm gonna get your ramp down now, baby. Yeah! Darcy girl! Okay, I'll get this undone. So guys, my lorry is leaking really badly, like everywhere. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. As we can see, there's a puddle in it at the moment. The mass from the back was absolutely drenched. So I'm gonna use it today and then hopefully find a mechanic somewhere that can fix everything. The Horse, this bit feels absolutely fine, and I, obviously it's not wood. I don't think anyway, um, so that's fine. But the, the like the groom area, jockey bit, whatever you want to call it, in there, the floor does feel a li like rotted a little bit. I don't know where it's just so damp. Um, can you see there, look? And obviously I didn't buy it as being um, leaking, but it is leaking. And then I had all my saddle pads up in these. Luckily, this side was so full it had to be closed. Um, and that side had three saddle pads, so I didn't quite shut it up properly the whole way around. Um, and they're all really mouldy, so obviously the mould's luckily washed it off, but um, not good, where it's literally, like up in there, it's like actually dripping, which is not good. So it needs, it needs a fix before I use it again. <laughs> this winter um, and then I'll book some shows. So I've just got one of the calming cookies out of the lorry and I shall come up to make my friends. I'll give it to her before 
Um, my friend gets here just to help me close the ramp, just make sure I'm okay. Bless you. What's this? And then we'll, I'll give you this and then we'll go see Holly. Oh my God, have you seen the spider that's just come out of there? Oh, I hate spiders, guys, I hate them. Honey, darling. Darcy, darling, what's this? I got you coming, Cookie. It should hopefully reduce your anxiety on the way. Janice. Oh, good girl. Nice. <laughs> You're so cute. I'm gonna see Holly and then we'll come and catch you once Tony's here. Come on. You're so cute. You're still smiling. That's so funny. Darcy girl. Yummy, yummy. Oh, we're friends, are we now? Guys, I just love my little lorry. I literally love it. I still need to get my number plates on. But look how pretty. It's the prettiest little lorry. <laughs> anyway, round to see Holly. Oh, hi. Hi there. Hi, Holly Princess. Hello. Oh, you're losing your friend, but you've got all the sheeps. All the sheeps. Oh, Holly Dolly. Holly Dolly with the little baby teeths. We've seen so much teeth already today. Yeah, do you want one of these? This is what Auntie Sammy gave Dingo. Mmm, herbal treat. What does the Holly, you love Auntie Sammy. What does the Holly Dolly think of Auntie Sammy's sweeties? Nice. You don't need a calming cookie, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. Thanks, <laughs> 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 Good girl. Thanks, Dad. 
Dennis, the footage is very good at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, the footage is very good at the end. <laughs> So I do this bit up properly. Girl. Just you know you've got you. Oh, you're a diamond. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's crazy. We did. <laughs> so we made it. We did. But once we were on, we were on. She actually didn't really fight once she knew what she was doing, did she, to be fair? She was just like, okay, I know what I'm doing now. You know what? I was playing around with a double tied address, so I know I've got her. Oh, I'm hot now. I don't know why I was expecting that to be easy. Was it no bird? Was it done? Good hey. I got some more switches here, actually. Just say what a good girl. Does he? Oh, never runny poo. You no. don't need to be scared. You're going to a nice place with lots of friends. <laughs> Fabulous. Oh, I feel so bad. Better. <laughs> to be fair, she's not too sad about it. No. She's like, I want my food. <laughs> Don't really care about my friend anymore. I'll forget about it by tomorrow. <laughs> there she is, bless her. We've just arrived at Blackwater and she travelled like an absolute little dream, bless her. So I'm just going to get her off now. Let's get her out the little room. Oh, that's stiff today. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Where are we? Do you want your little home, princess? Something you have to dry, so good job I didn't do, do the blow down, isn't it? Hey, should we give you a little brush before you come out? Hey, should we give a little brush in? You're so cute. I've got some sweeties. Do you want a sweetie? Do you like a sweetie? What's this then? Sweeties? Mmm, you like my sweeties, don't you, Diane? Hey. Okay guys, so she's in her new stable. She's in here, I think, for the minute until she's had her injections. So she, she's not got any injections at the moment. So the vet's coming tomorrow to do them. And I'm assuming then she's gonna go in like the main barn with everybody else while she's isolating here, I think. Or she might be staying in here for the meantime, I don't know. Um, but she's literally walked from the lorry all the way down here. Obviously I couldn't film it because I was on my own today, not, um, didn't have anyone to film for me. But she has literally walked down, just like she's lived here all of her life. Past all the horses, there's horses in the arena. She hasn't even, like obviously she's very sweaty, bless her. From, I don't know whether that's sweat or whether that's rain from last night. I think it's a mixture, I think that's sweat to be fair. Um, but she traveled like a dream. She's walked down like a dream. She's just, she's such a good girl. She's itchy because she's um, hot. I think I'm gonna give her a good brush. Oh, the big shake. I'll give you a big brush so you're less itchy. Well, naked horse product you up. 
I'm gonna lose a Naked Dolls products here, yeah. And I think because her skin's a little bit dull, I put her on some of Ringo's skin tonic as well, to be fair. Um, and maybe some buck off as well for the next couple of days just to calm her anxiety a little bit. Um, not that she looks particularly anxious, but just to help her on her way. But just to help her on her way. Um, but yeah, she's in and she's settled, bless her heart. Oh, baby. Okay, we're gonna bum it. That hot. What are you doing? <laughs> you damn thing. Um, can you roll? Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just messing everything up. Do you want to see? Okay, we're going straight down for a roll. Don't get stuck. Oh, no, no chance of that. come back with my brushes and we've obviously rolled now on both sides. <laughs> you look a bit messy. It's a good job I've got all these brushes. Isn't it? Hey, look at the state of you. Okay guys, so I'm next going to beautify oil the mane. It is one very knotty and two covered in shavings, but I think if I'm going to ever be able to get a brush anywhere near it, I'm going to want to beautify oil it on both directions, on all sides, um, and get it through. She's got the most amazing mane, which I want to keep, so I need to make sure I protect it. Um, I just, I love it being long. Obviously, if she's going to go in the show ring, I would have to take it off, but um, I just, oh, I love it. So I'm going to get it all over on the wrong side first and get the underneath of the mane. Beautify your oil. So I know that that's all been protected and looked after. And then I'll go the other side, put it on the other way, and then brush it through. And then I'm gonna be sure that it's perfect to brush through. So if I bring you guys to the other side. Brought you guys to the other side now with me. Maybe I'm a little bit, you've got all the steam coming off you, it gives you stressed. Honey bunny, who's coming over this way to do the maze? That is all. You don't really see, I don't think. I've got one, two more pumps through this side. Making sure it's all been done, eh, princess? So everything's also pretty. And then I think what I might do today is plait it, even like down like that if I can, just to keep it a little bit cooler overnight. I just don't really want to don't want that to um, obviously rub and then rub the press out because that wouldn't be very good. Um, yeah, it's very knotty and obviously very sweaty, so I'm just going to start right at the ends today and just tease my way through her mane. Getting out all of the shavings that have been rubbed into it as well um, and just give it a real good bit of love. I'm hoping you can see. And you're having to be this way as well, guys, because um, it's the only way my phone will sit on this tripod. <laughs> Automatically so chilled. It's actually amazing. So what I'm gonna do now is I am actually gonna put a little so we can see how silky this now is. What I am actually gonna do that on there. Can you go that on that for a minute? Is I'm just gonna pop two more pumps through. Now it's brushed just to really work into the mane, work into her forelock. And then obviously I'll tap the tail in a minute. Um, just to get it really through and nourish the mane as best as I can, really get it into her roots. She's got so much more of a less thick neck than Dingo, but it's so much easier to get into the roots. <laughs> Actually crazy. And then what I'll do in a minute, as I said, I'm going to have a go at doing one of those running plats. Never done one before, so you might have to watch a tutorial. But plat it all the way down there, so she's um, a bit cooler on her neck. And what I might do as well in a minute is hot clock her with this as well. 
Look at the state of me. Um, I'm just on my phone camera, guys. No filter. <laughs> um, as basically her coat is just very dry, very dull. And obviously where she's been living in a field for like so many, and obviously where she's been living in a field for so many years, she could just do with being on some amazing condition, couldn't you? So I'm definitely gonna put her on some buck off from the Naked Horse and I'm gonna push her on the Skin Tonic. Um, and I'll do some before and after photos actually so everybody can see how good these products are um, and test them completely um, because this is obviously a, a weathered coat. Um, so we can then see how good she, you know, how amazing the products work. But this horse is an absolute angel. I mean, <laughs> look. She's just an absolute little angel horse. Oh. I'm now going to attempt to attack the tail with um, with the Beautify oil. And then, yeah, I think what I do is I get a bucket of hot water with some Beautify oil in there and um, hot cloth her body just to obviously get rid of all the sweat and really work the oil into her skin. And then bring some, some plating bands, baby. Huh? A little bit of Stay Perfect spray as well through the through the tail. It's antibacterial. It's anti-itching. It's, it's, it's rub prevention. It's bug repellent. There's a dirt barrier in there. Great. It's a great additive to help with the Beautify oil as well. It's antibacterial. It's just going to really nourish the tail. And as we can see, literally within a minute, this tail is so much easier to brush through. It's shinier. It's healthy. It'll only get better and better with time. Okay, we're going to do the cold cloth thing. It does darcy darcy. It's cold because I thought actually it's probably better for you being a bit chillier. Because you're a bit hot. Yeah. It's not cold, cold. I mean, it's maybe, maybe a bit better. Maybe it's cold here. Maybe fine. Let me see. Have you made the water? Oh, she's going to be listening to the camera. <laughs> So, I've done my first ever running plait, and I've not watched any um, tutorial on how to do it. It's not a 10 out of 10, but it's not a 0 out of 10, is it? It's not that bad. <laughs> it keeps her a little bit cooler anyway, doesn't it, darling? Okay, tail now looks much better. It's still not that short, but it's a lot shorter than what it was. It's got a lot of tail on the ground. Let's see what she's like with clippers. I'm going to put the scissors away. Hi, my darling. Can you have a snack of them first? Do you feel like these? Yeah. And you get that. They did a brushing of Darcy there. See, they nice. they friendly, though. Or are you okay with it? You might have to put a head collar on. Should we put a head collar on? See if you like. I'll put a head collar on. I think you're going to be fine. You're not exactly stressy, are you? Are you friends anymore? No, not really. <laughs> you gorgeous girl. So actually, guys, do not judge it yet, okay? Because every time I go to tidy up a line, she moves. Hence the bold patch there. Um, I've just given her two minutes to have a break, but she's literally stood there like a rock. She's just a bit of a fidget. <laughs> And I feel like someone's obviously done something not very nice to her ears. So every time I go near her ears, she starts to move. Not freak or do anything naughty, just she just like flinches or moves. Um, and then obviously the, the clippers do a little bit of a jolt. So at the moment, we do look like a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. But I'm not going to stop until I'm done. But I've also got to be careful that I um, don't go too far. Look at it at the moment. It's not great. Um, because obviously I don't want to have to do the whole body but there's so much hair it's like a triple triple layer coat honestly it's um it's so thick so i'm just gonna keep going until we've got somewhat straight lines so 
it looks slightly better, but every time I go anywhere near that ear, she jumps. Well, she doesn't like it, the other side she's fine with. And there's another chunk now, and I don't know what to do. Okay, it's getting better. I've had to take a lot more off than what I wanted. We've still got the odd chunk, but I've managed to get a lot closer to her ears, and to be fair, she's actually fine. I think it's where they're itchy, I think, because if I give them a good itch, even if I give them a good itch with this, she's absolutely fine. Um, we're getting better at faders. She doesn't mind the clippers that way. It's when my arm is like that that she doesn't like it, isn't it? Which is the way that I fade the lines. But the lines are looking better now. Um, I think give me another five minutes and I'll call it a day today and give it another go another day. I just want to make it a little bit... You can see it needs fading up here and this is like the problem area. So we need something to distract her and then she looks at the, at the stable and doesn't care what I do. So there's another horse over here just being turned out. So hopefully, if I push the window, you might spot it. What's this? Does Piggy. <laughs> She's like, just give me one more bite. Wait a minute, what's this? Right, I'm going in. <laughs> I feel like she's starting to just get a bit bored. So this is kind of what we're dealing with. While I was tidying this line, we've, um, as you can see, we've jumped. So we've got a couple of extra lines out. So I might just have to go and go up a bit further this side to kind of help clear that up. Which I think I might be able to do without the head collar on, to be fair. And once I've got some oil on there and hot clothed it, hopefully the lines will disappear a little bit better. And we'll have an extra go tomorrow around the ears, um, just to kind of tidy them up a little bit. But it's so cold at the moment, it's all going to grow really quickly anyway, isn't it? And I just think she's going to be a bit cooler. A lot cooler, aren't you, darling? Do you need a wee? Oh, desperate for a little wee. Wee wee. Big wee wee, Darcy. Big wee wee. Right, guys, I've given up today. It's not the worst in the world now. I've been playing with it for the last hour and a half and we're such a good girl with it. But, well, that line's not raised right. I'm gonna tidy that up in a second. Hang on, let's do that now if we can. Better? No, I made it worse. I don't know, that line's really good to be fair. Oh, I just need to tidy that other line up then. We're messy but by the ears, we're messy by the eyes. Obviously, I didn't wanna take this much off, but she kept jumping, so I've had to keep going with all the lines. Um, yeah, this needs a tiny bit of work here, and then we're good. She says she's done. Yeah, she says no more. So it's, that's not the straightest line, but it'll be fine. We can do some more tomorrow. We can fade it out a bit better tomorrow, can't we? Do you have some sweeties, please? Have some sweeties, have you? <laughs> I think it's, it's quite dark in there as well. She just, she just kept moving. You're just a fidget bum, aren't you? You're a fidget bum. You're like, I've got an itch, and then she tried to itch me. <laughs> Oh, so I did say I was going to give up and I haven't and I have tidied up. Turn this way. Let me see this line because I tidied it up now. She said, no, no, you don't look good anymore. But anyway, I've tidied it up a little bit. That side needs a little tiny bit off we can see there. But anyway, it's fine. No, it's absolutely fine for the minute. <laughs> She's not going in the show ring, thank goodness.
sweet princess? So someone's brought loads of cakes into the um, to the yard. I've just had the sweetie on the top. But Ringo's shared the last one and I've had a second. So it's time for Darcy to share this one. Mm. It's so weird. It's so much. And Darcy didn't like it. So Ringo is literally, this is disgusting. <laughs> You've got <laughs> icing hanging up with his whiskers. <laughs> nice. I need to wash my hands because I'm just covered in icing and slobber. Nice. Mm, thanks, Mummy. Get my thumb then. You've got it all on. <laughs> In between then. Get it all. <laughs> Happy boy. <laughs> I mean, they're clean. My nails are. That's all I need. <laughs> Dingo. <laughs> Darcy Hosso, I've just gone and got some of the Peddy Spa, so I thought we could do her totos. You've got to come this way to see it. <laughs> and then I'll show you them once they're done. Sparkly toes, look at those the beautiful toes. Look at those, she says, what's this, this? She said, I've never seen all these products before. There's so much, mom, there's so much. There's so much. <laughs> oh, baby girl, I'm going to put some beautiful oil back through your mane again as well. Just keep it in there. Should I see you tomorrow? You're having your injections tomorrow. You're going to meet Truly tomorrow. Trudy's coming in tomorrow. She is. You little sweetheart. Aren't you a sweetheart? You are. You're the biggest sweetheart in the whole wide world, Trudy. Darcy, Darcy. And he called you Truly Trudy then. That wouldn't have been very clever, would he? Yeah. Beautiful girl.